Coach Devin here. We are talking getting kids to eat healthy food and why it's so important. Before we get going, click that thumbs up down below and please subscribe. Also, I put together a great free bunch of free PDFs. They're down in the description. Everything from my guide to amazing abs to uh, get lean uh, menu plan. There's lots of stuff down there. It's my gift to you. So, I was talking to a client the other day. She's complaining because her kids are really difficult. They don't want to eat their food. And uh, and they're really, you know, frustrated about, you know, eating salad. And they don't want to eat salad. And she said, well, what do you do? How have you done it? And I said, my kids are pretty good eaters. Listen, at the end of the day, I just forced them on it. Like, that is what it is. I, I said to them, look, guys, I'm the boss. This is not a restaurant. You're going to eat it. Or it's going to come back later for your snack before you go to bed. Either way, you're having this. And sooner or later, you'll get used to it and or it'll go down. Something's going to happen. But at the end of the day, I'm going to get what I want. My kids over time, they fought it a lot. Listen, kids love to push the envelope and fight back, uh, but that's their job, right? Their job is to push the envelope and say, no, 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 I don't want that. And as a parent, your job is to say, yeah, you're going to do it anyway. I don't care. So that has been my approach with my kids. I know a lot of people don't like that approach because nowadays we all want to be friends with our kids. Everybody, oh, that's my road dog. That's my ride or die. That's my best friend. No, that's your kid. Bottom line, that's your kid. And and you know what? Quite frankly, when I sit down and really work this out in my head, I think feeding your kids garbage on a regular basis. And now, listen, I'm going to be clear. I am not talking about you feeding your kids uh, McDonald's every three weeks or giving them ice cream once a week. That is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the, the kid, people out there that are saying, you know what, they're eating hot dogs three nights a week, and they're eating craft dinner two nights a week, stuff like that. As far as I'm concerned, and I know this will probably ruffle some feathers, but as far as I'm concerned, that's like child abuse. Your kid needs to grow up and have nutritious food, or A, they can't grow. B, their brain can't function. C, you're setting them up for horrible habits, obesity, diabetes, all kinds of stuff down the road. So really, it's the same as, it's to me, it is the same as abusing your child. You had a kid. You chose to have that child. It's time to step up, be an adult, and lead by example. If you like junk food, it's too bad. You have a kid. You have to lead by example now. You can't feed them garbage. Because if you feed them garbage, they will end up overweight, sick, dying, uh, with all kinds of health concern problems. And every one of them is your fault. You did it. They didn't do it. Because listen here, kids have no money. Kids don't have any money to go buy their food. Your 10-year-old can't be like, well, I listen, man, I, I got my money in my back pocket. I'm going to go out and buy what I want. They can't do that. It just doesn't work that way. So since kids don't have any money, they depend on you to feed them and to clothe them and to house them. If you don't buy them warm clothes in the winter, you're a horrible parent. And I think everybody would agree with that. No one's going to say, ah, well, you know. No, no. You're a bad parent if you don't buy them warm clothes. You're a bad parent if you don't have a place for them to live. Social services will come and take your child because you have no place to live. The same thing applies to food, guys. If you feed your kids unhealthy food day in, day out, you're abusing your child. You're setting them up for all kinds of problems later in life. And anybody that's getting touchy about this, I'm sorry, those are the facts. You're going to hurt your child physically. You're going to hurt them developmentally. You're probably going to hurt them ment You know, you so developmentally down the road, they're going to have problems. Physically down the road, all kinds of health-related problems. And on top of that, now they have horrible habits that they may pass on to future generations. And why is that? Because you don't want to say to them, no, you have to eat your salad. I don't care if you cry, you're still eating it. You know what? It's time to buck up a little bit, guys. As parents, our job is to lead. Go out and lead. Being a parent is not easy. It's not always fun. It's not about having a road dog or a best friend or that's my ride or die. It's not about that stuff. You have friends for that. You can be friends with your kids when they get older. Your job now is to lead. And when it comes to healthy food, your job is to show them what healthy food is and teach them that this is important for them to eat. And if you do those things, you can be friends with them later and they won't have diabetes and they won't have obesity problems and they won't have developmental problems in their brain. You know, they will be good, upstanding, well put together citizens. And that's the job of every parent. And I think everybody will agree that that's the parent's job. But we've got into this culture a little bit where it is, you know, 
We're buddies, we're friends, nobody wants to say no. Your biggest job as a parent is to say no. Say no all the time. Can I have ice cream? No. Can I eat that? No. Can I do this? No. Why? Because you know better than they do. That's the bottom line, you just do. And when it comes to healthy food, make them eat it. This is not a restaurant, eat your food. You know what? If it's ugly and they cry, they'll cry for like two days. And then they'll realize you mean business and they will buckle down and they'll eat their food. Listen, I did it with my kids. It was a pain in the butt. It's the same thing as teaching them table manners. You just have to do it day in, day out, whether or not it sucks. And they will learn it. Then they'll have good table manners. And then you won't have to talk about it ever again. So it's not real hard. Just buckle down. Be a parent. Do your job. Have yourself an amazing day. Don't fight the awesome.